now. Let's have a, a catch up now with Ken and Steve. Now, it's been really interesting because we've been talking about Nopon Saint Cam and Mark Williams playing some great high quality snooker. So, gents, give us an insight into why this is happening. <coughs> Yes, thank you, Seamus. Steve and I have been watching uh, very eagerly both players, not on Sangham and indeed Mark Williams today, and they're both been using a technique called sight right. And we flagged up a couple of clips for you just to have a look, not only for professionals, but amateurs and even budding snooker players as well. Just have a look at this. So this is the first clip. We're having a look at Nop on here. Now have a look the way he comes around. He's looking at the red. He's lining himself up. He picks a spot. He goes back and then he sets himself up into the shot as well. So what he's doing, he's concentrating on the line of the shot. He's getting his body in place and he plays the shot. And he plays it beautifully. And these are the big shots as well. So let me see, here's Mark Williams, that one that we flagged up as well. Let's have a quick look on this one. Okay, speed up a little bit there, but I'll, I'll slow this a little bit down. Now watch him get into position, watch his feet, the way he gets his feet in position, his body in position, he gets down and he plays the shot. Okay, it's dead straight black, plays it beautifully. Okay, there you go. Now, what is the theory behind that? The comparable Steve Davis, <laughs> six times world champion, is going to explain. Okay, well, there's a lot more players standing behind the shot these days, and one of the, the big advantages to this is that you actually see the shot from above directly behind. The old-fashioned way of trying to teach somebody how to play was there's the line of the shot, put your right foot on the line, your cue runs over your right foot so you can see it. So you, a coach might say, OK, get your right foot on the line, put your cue over the... So, yeah, that's about right. OK, but where are my eyes now? I'm standing up straight. My eyes are looking through the cue ball along this line here. My eyes and my head are not on the line of the shot. So, I think the first player to ever do this and think about this was Michael Judge. And if you remember Michael Judge, he's been watching for many years, Michael Judge would stand like this, mm -hmm. he put his cue on his belly button, yeah. and he's guaranteeing his head is on the line so he sees your shot from correctly behind, especially on cut shots and angled shots. Maybe on a straight shot, it doesn't seem so important. But you see the shot on the line. So from this position, you don't have your cue on line, you don't have your right foot on the line, so what you have to do is then move forward with your head, your first sort of feeling is your head move forward your legs feet get in the right position naturally and you keep your head on the line as you go down and that is now sort of generally uh, perceived to be the better way to do it even though there's a funny movement across to get into position the only other way to do it is to have that foot on the line cue on the line and actually lean over that way to get the line right that's quite an awkward thing to do mm. so more players are now standing directly behind cue even like this and then walking in like that. Um, you know, for amateur players who are w looking out there, uh, certain players actually slide into the shot, which is a mistake as well, isn't yeah, it? Well, yeah, obviously, you know, many players at pro pro professional level like to stand behind the shot to see the shot, but the worst thing you can do, especially fast, talented players, yeah. seem to be able to do that. You just sort of, you come in there, you, you go, bang. Mm. Okay, yeah, you get m most of the shots, yeah. but not under pressure. Yeah, yeah, and of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan who uh, experimented with this technique as well. We saw him even last uh, at this World Championship last year where he, he'd be clicking his heels, getting into the line of the shot and then playing the shot as well. Yeah. So if you're down a club, yeah. make sure your belly button's in line with the shot <laughs> before you start, and then go from there. <laughs> there you go. Experiment that was great advice. advice. I hope you've all been taking notes there. That was brilliant. Thank you, gents. OK, let's uh, rewind because